In this video, we're going to be looking over this Olympus Infinity Zoom 200 35mm film camera. And in order to try it out, I have two batteries. These are not included. And a scrap roll of film. This is not included either. But they're here to help us go through this camera in hopefully the level of detail that you would want to do if you had it in your hands. So to get started, we're going to open the battery compartment. You can see there's a clean compartment here and there's room for two type 1, 2, 3 batteries. We're going to put those in and then we'll put the battery door back on. And then we can open up the back which is right here. And before we put the film in, let's just look at this. Everything here looks pretty good. Um, I see there's some foam light seals in the channel. I don't feel it printing onto the surfaces that it mates with. So maybe a little bit right down in there, but uh, looks pretty good really. So uh, let's load our film. First of all, I should turn it on. And load the film. Pull the leader over into the take up area. Make sure it's in there straight and close the door. Okay, now the counter is showing picture number one. I should point out that this is a zoom camera and so they've got tele and wide right here. So let's push the telephoto. You can see the lens goes up there to 80 millimeters. And if we push this back to wide, it goes back to 38 millimeters. So the zoom is working. Let's uh, let's look at this flash here. It's set for auto, and I am going to set it to fill in so that it will automatically flash. And I'm just going to dim the lights here just a little bit so we can see better. And the flash certainly went off. And now it has wound to picture number two. I'm going to turn this flash off now. Okay. Um, I noticed that this camera has a built-in, well, it's not really built-in, but right here, if I take a coin and turn this just a little bit, you can eject this little thing and what this is is a remote control and you can set it for one second or three seconds and push the button and so I noticed that it still had enough charge in it to operate it so let's try it so clearly still works I'll try the three second delay see the little red light up there so the remote is still working and that just stows right there. Now let's see what else can we check. Subject spot. There's for the self timer. So we can point this at us here. I'm going to get send. Let's uh, shut that flash off again. Off. There's pointing it off. And now, if I do the self-timer mode, I'll just point this at us here. You can see the little red indicator, and we'll just watch it complete its cycle. Okay, so we saw that worked. Now we're at picture number five. There really isn't anything more to demonstrate other than to point out here Nothing shows up on this quartz date uh, thing here on the back. I don't know how useful that would be or if the calendar would even still be in effect today. But be aware that nothing shows up on here. And it looks like there's some contacts that get the power from the main batteries. There's not a separate battery that runs this that I can see. So that does seem to be something that does not work. Okay, I'm just going to pop off the rest of these pictures on this short roll. There, I think that might even be one, maybe one more. 
Okay, we reached the end, so now it's going to rewind. Oh, okay, yeah, rewinding. Okay, so now if I pop the door open, you can see the film has all wound back into this. And here were these contacts I was pointing out that are supposed to mate up with these that should run this on the back and there's just nothing showing on there. So just want to point that out. Otherwise, uh, the camera seems to be in pretty good condition. I'm going to turn it off. And I'll take out these batteries again. And I'll put the door back in place. It has an Olympus strap. Still pliable rubber. So, fairly nice example of this camera. The only thing that I saw that was not responsive was the quartz date function. So be aware of that.